All right, so the Droid DNA had just gotten a software update and I haven't done mine yet. Thought I'd take the time to actually show everybody how that works. So generally what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into settings, which I have an icon for on my home screen, or you can drop down in the drop down menu. If you don't uh, assume you know how to get to settings, but go to settings. And then all the way at the bottom, you scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a software update. So currently if I hit about, it's gonna tell me what my software version is. Tells me help, network, phone identity, um, so on. So here it says software information, firmware and all. So I have the 4.1.1 and Sense 4 Plus. The newest version is going to be Sense 5 and it's going to be 4.2.2. 4.2.2 um, is also a jelly bean. It's a you know kind of a minor update. But Sense 5 is going to make your phone so much more like... Um, so much more like the HTC One. So here, you, in, it, back in the settings, you go all the way to the bottom and you click on software update. And then there's status, and then there's check new. So check new. All right, did I get it? Check new. Come on. I just did it before so I know there's a new okay so I hit status this time and it's basically telling me that there's a there's a there was well the status tells me the last update which um, actually it just updated already the the first of two pieces related to this so I just updated you'll see today 12 10 13 306 p.m. it's right now 329 or sorry 330 so it just did the first update so like it says here, the first, sorry about that, the first of two software updates for HTC DNA ensures your smartphone next uh, for the next HTC Sense user experience upgrade. So then just by doing that, I waited along and there I waited a little bit and it says new software update from Verizon Wireless. Uh, the first two software updates. So I think I already did that one, but anyway, I'm gonna hit okay. And then up here, it's just showing the little download guy. Downloading firmware. Just wait for that to happen. It looks like it's going pretty quick. Um, as I understand, it'll do the firmware update. And then from there, then it's going to be the sense update. Okay. So, warning, cannot make calls or receive calls, including 911 during this time. So, I'm going to hit OK. And then it... Alright, so then after it rebooted, gives me this screen, which says uploading software from Verizon Wireless. The little status bar on the bottom is blue. Looks like it's finished. And it looks like it's again restarting. Alright, so once or twice more it rebooted itself and now it's going through the droid screen. And um, <clears throat> it's just rebooting as it would normally when you just turn the phone on. Alright, so I did check now and it gave me the 30 minutes to download the next one. Going for it. Alright, once you've updated the second software then, I'm sorry, you downloaded it, then it says, ask you if you want to install it now or install later. And it says it'll take about eight minutes to install. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna install. All right, you get the same screen for the second update. All right, now after rebooting, tell me Android's updating and there's 17 out of 63. So just wait for that process to come to an end. And I think it should be good to go. Alright, so I just upgraded and it looks like the internet icon is different. As well as the uh, text message, the lock little guy. It looks like all these icons on the bottom are a little different. The calendar is more just an integrated across the screen. And you got a little clock there. Sorry. And uh weather I guess would be over there when it starts in the minute in the morning so it says pull lock icon so okay HCC is upgraded successfully 
Uh, my screen here looks the same. Touch the little guy down here. Um, look at that, you have the clock at the top. Um, location service is off, so I can get weather there if I wanted. And it looks like the apps now go upward instead of left and right. They do not go left and right, just up and down. Um, so I'll play around with it and if there's enough interest maybe I'll do another video on uh, just kind of the differences here within within the new 4.2.2 and and uh, Sense 5. Uh, even this little guy to go home is different and still have my icons on the top. Screens are basically essentially the same as that when I left them before I upgraded so it just seems to be a lock screen for now and the app tray so when i get more information as i play around with it i'll let you know